So we can officially say with a degree of certainty that Russell T Davies is not here to save Doctor Who. Can you sense my sarcasm? Well, this is ultimately because apparently Davros... Davros is an ableist. Doctor Who's Russell T Davies explains major change to Davros. Yes, in a special clip made for the BBC's sponsored charity organisation Children in Need, an organisation that likes to pay itself more than the actual children, might I add, we see Davros who can walk, who is not disfigured, who looks just like an average, ordinary guy off the bloody street. Now, why is this you're probably asking? Well, apparently, Davros is a bit of a phobe these days. Quoting from the Radio Times, Davros, once played by Julian Bleach, an actor I would like to add did a very good job as the actual Davros. This is my ultimate victory, Doctor. The destruction of reality itself! Looked different to how viewers might remember him. And while fans might have assumed that simply because this particular scene was set prior to the accident that left the character scarred and reliant on his support unit, which would make sense and I would approve of, Doctor Who showrunner Russell T Davies has explained that there was more to it than that. Yeah. Ready for it, guys? Here it is. Davies said, We had long conversations about bringing Davros back because he's a fantastic character. But time and society and culture and taste has moved on. Why don't you just throw the buzzword Modern audience. in there and be done, you hack? Anyway, he continues. And there's a problem with the Davros of old and that he's a wheelchair user who is evil, and I had problems with that, and a lot of us on the production team had problems with that, of associating disability with evil, and trust me, there's a long tradition of this. Oh, piss off! <laughs> yes, so Davros is now problematic because he uses a wheelchair and is bad. The fact I have to be the one to point out that evil can take many forms and appearances is only the tip of the iceberg for astonishes me with this. But if you want a Doctor Who perspective, okay, well, here you go. Davros was in that chair originally because of an accident, yes, but he stayed in it because he was artificially extending his life and that has repercussions. And the visible repercussions were shown to the audience in the form of him becoming less of an ordinary man and more machine, with an inability to move or see naturally. Furthermore, the wheelchair is what gave him the idea for the Daleks' movability in the first place. Are you fucking retarded? The hell's the matter with you? I'm not blaming people in the past at all. You are. But the world changes, and when the world changes, Doctor Who has to change as well. Change, for the sake of change, is not progress, you uneducated moron. So we made the choice to bring back Davros without the facial scarring and without the wheelchair, or his support unit, which functions as a wheelchair. I say, this is how we see Davros now. This is what he looks like. This is 2023. Buzzword alert. This is our lens. This is our eye. Things used to be black and white. They're not in black and white anymore. Maybe they should be. Might make society a bit better, I don't know. And Davros used to look like that. And he looks like this now. And that we are absolutely standing by. You know, I think Davies, I think you have bitten off more than you can chew. You think you're going to have the audience for Doctor Who like you did in 2005. Get real. You're a woke, insignificant, has-been, whose obsession with protecting the BBC and their precious license fee will ultimately destroy the legacy for which you refounded Doctor Who on in those early years of its revival. I should add, he apparently also chose to air this clip on Children in Need, as it is, and I quote, a night where issues of disability or otherness being excluded from society come right to the front of the conversation. No, no, no. The charity states its vision is that all children and young people in the UK have a safe, happy and secure childhood and the chance to fulfil their potential. Children are not politically inclined unless raised and forced to do so, Davies. They don't go, ooh, disabled person on the screen, who's bad? That must mean all disabled people are bad. Shut up. Luckily, I am not alone in thinking this decision is batshit crazy, as there are certain Twitter users who caught my eye for their forthright honesty and, in one case, hilarity. From Ian Levine, speaking out as a disabled man in a wheelchair, I am highly offended by Russell T. Davies' claim to change Davros to no longer being in a wheelchair, for fear of offending people like me. What the hell comes next? Changing a Dalek for fear of offending a salt shaker? World gone mad. <laughs> Have to agree with that. From problem being, 
talk to my friend Daniel, aka Scottish Davros. Davros was what got him into Doctor Who, and now he is utterly, utterly heartbroken. And I definitely feel for him. It's absolute travesty what Davies is doing. And finally, from Chris Knight. I suppose if Russell T. Davies is going to ruin Davros on account that he's unfairly in a wheelchair, then he would probably get rid of Darvader's breathing on account that he's unfair to asthmatics. <laughs> Davis is destroying a very classic bad guy, and that is the point of this. He's destroying rather than creating. You're a moron. You're a woke moron. I will probably be one of the only few who review all three episodes of your 60th anniversary special of Woke Who. By the time episode 1 finishes, you will see a decent drop in audience retention. That's my prediction. By episode 2, from what I understand it includes, because I do know some things that's going to be in it, you'll see a significant audience drop. And you know what? You deserve it. May this usher the end of the bastardization of a once great TV series and help end the repressive BBC regime and its disgusting license fee. This was a short video. That's all I have to say on the subject. It's more of a rant than anything else. I had to get this out there because this is ridiculous. This cannot go on. But anyway, I have a review of the first part of the final series of The Crown coming out over the next few days, so please stick around for that. Thank you for watching this video as long as you have, and until next time, take care.